Welcome to worship with Ascension Lutheran Church in beautiful Nelson, British Columbia. Today is November 20th, and it is the last Sunday in the church year. Today is known as Christ King Sunday, and our gospel lesson today tells the story of Christ's ultimate gift to us all, when he gave his life on the cross. Next Sunday begins the new church year with the first Sunday in Advent. At Ascension, we will be celebrating the season of Advent with a dinner on Saturday evening at 5.30. You are most welcome to join us. Today's service includes hymns, special music, lessons, prayers, and a sermon. Some of us will worship in our homes. Some of us will gather at our church building. Wherever we are, we are together in spirit, and we are really glad you are here. instead of tables, and have turned away the stranger. We have sought glory for ourselves and have treasured that which does not satisfy. Help us to love as you love, all people of all gender diversities and sexual orientations. Help us to welcome those you send and to treasure mercy and justice. Turn us from our ways to your ways, and free us to serve those in need. Amen. God, who makes all things new, forgives our sins for Jesus' sake, and remembers them no more. Lift up your heads and your hearts. Yours is the kingdom of God. Amen. To lead with honor means honestly caring. The prophet is harsh with those who abuse their influence over others. Ultimately, God is the kind shepherd, caring for the sheep, as written in Jeremiah 23, 1-6. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them. And I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, 
says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. The church year ends today. Jeremiah cautions us, but St. Paul's faith cheers us in the love of Christ, so at the end of it all, we lean on the everlasting arms of God with these words from Colossians 1, 11 to 20. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. May the church hear what the Spirit is saying. Amen.
Together as people of faith, let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed, as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. United with your saints across time and place, we pray for our shared world. With the words, Lord, in your mercy, you are invited to respond, receive our prayers. We pray for your church, emboldened denominations and faith-based organizations in creative and collaborative ministries and increase our work for the sake of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. We pray for the earth. Protect waterways from pollution and animal habitats from destruction, especially Kootenai Lake and surrounding forests. Guide us in careful stewardship of waters, plant life, and animals. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. We pray for the nations of the world. Instill in every leader's heart a desire for justice and peace. Support the work of international collaborations that seek the goals of health and joy for all peoples, especially those working for Canadian Lutheran World Relief. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. We pray for all those who are undemanded or oppressed. Amplify the voices of the unheard and break open stubborn systems of injustice. Bring about your righteousness and fill us all with your redeeming light. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. We pray for those who suffer from seen and unseen ailments, especially Clementine, Ethel, Kathy, Peter, David, Gwen, Marianne, and Anne. We give thanks for all those who have died in faith. Console us who mourn and comfort us with the beautiful promise of life in your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. We pray for this assembly. Guide our leaders and our council members in discernment and nurture new leaders with fresh ideas. Give this congregation a spirit of discipleship and service. Be with our sister churches, Grace Lutheran in Dawson Creek and Reverend Marilyn Carroll, United in Term, and Dale Lutheran in Salmon Arm and Reverend Eric Borgen, and our Pastor Brenda. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayers. Be with us as we live our mission as a community of Christians empowered by the grace of God through word and sacrament to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with God. Accept these prayers, gracious God, and those known only to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me in the prayer our Father taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
God, the beginning and the end, who has written your name in the book of life, bless and keep you in grace and peace, now and forevermore. Amen. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all our works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, 